Hey y'all, my name is Amanda and I am the Director of Communications at Grace. And I am joined by Marie. Uh, she is a dear friend, sister, as well as a fellow coworker at Grace and she's the Director of Counseling. So one of the many things that makes Grace Community Church so unique is that it is a church that takes emotional and mental health seriously. And we have an entire ministry dedicated to that, led by Marie, um, with a bunch of different types of counseling groups, support groups, and it's just a really, really unique offering that we have available at Grace. And right now we are going through a Sunday message series called Life in the Valley. And we're hitting on a lot of different topics and areas that are quite complex. For example, this past Sunday, we talked about anxiety and it uh, deserves maybe a little bit more time to dig in and understand what those topics really mean for us in our everyday. So I thought we could do a fun chat conversation series where we take some time to dig in a little bit more about some of these topics. So I've asked Marie to join me and I'm just gonna take a quick second to brag about her because her resume is quite impressive. And I brag about her one because it really is a testament to God's just goodness to us to equip people the way that he has in order to then share that knowledge and equip others. And so Marie has been doing a lot of trainings, hosting a lot of trainings, teaching others within our community in order for them to be then equipped to then help others. So Marie is a licensed, licensed clinical professional counselor with a master's degree in clinical mental health counseling from Loyola University. And she brings a really unique perspective of how mental and emotional health intersect with their spiritual health. So it's not one or the other, but they really do go hand in hand. And so she brings that really unique perspective and experience. And she has over 18 years of experience in that. And so we're incredibly blessed and lucky to have her as our Director of Counseling at Grace. So Marie, thanks so much for joining us. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate you bragging on me. And <laughs> I just... I just feel blessed to be a part of the church and grateful that our church does embrace um, the importance of caring for people and their mental health. Let's dive right into it. This past weekend, Pastor Mitchell and Ryan were talking about anxiety and they defined anxiety as the, the uncertainty that lives in the future or the, or the hypothetical. So from your perspective, how would you define anxiety and what are some of the different manifestations of anxiety that you might see? So I would agree with them. A, a lot of anxiety is about our thoughts, our, our worries, you know, what we're thinking about the future. And I think it runs on a continuum with those worried thoughts all the way out to the panic attacks. Um, as a professional, I would define it as an emotion that affects us cognitively, behaviorally, emotionally, and physically. You know, it affects us from head to toe pretty much. So many parts um, of us are involved in, in, our, in anxiety. Um, so when it comes to anxiety disorders, they run from general anxiety all the way up to PTSD and OCD and social phobias. There's just a wide range of different types of anxiety. Mm -hmm. And people really suffer mm -hmm. when they're experiencing these. Yeah, so what are some of those symptoms that are associated with all of these different types of anxiety? Because for me, I would say, you know, it is definitely the worried thoughts and sometimes a little bit of like the having to really like take a deep breath to calm myself when I find myself not feeling like there's, there's that little unsettled feeling in my chest maybe, but with all of those different manifestations or types of anxiety, I imagine that there are a whole slew of different symptoms and how that might show up. Yeah. So if we're talking about OCD, that a lot of that has to do with behaviors, right? There are the thoughts that are involved, but then there's the, the behaviors of having to check the light switch or making sure that the iron's turned off or that you're washing your hands several times, like those, those types of things, behaviors. And then there might be a milder form of anxiety. You might have fear of going out um, to parties or going to, going to friends' houses. You might get a little anxious and then you might feel that physically in your body, like you said, that there's some heart palpitations or trouble breathing. And then you might even avoid that. That's the behavioral, that's another behavioral thing where you might avoid 
going to parties because you feel those those anxious feelings and then the mm -hmm. thoughts you know a big part of like those what ifs that Mitchell and and Ryan were talking about a lot that the what ifs and then they they create more what ifs and it just keeps going on and on so you know the thoughts that there, people aren't going to like me or there's something wrong with me or I'm going to go I'm going crazy mm -hmm. you know those are behavioral and physical and then because of all that then you start having more emotional feelings of maybe you'll get more sad or or angry mm -hmm. you know there's there's so many different aspects of who we are that get impacted by anxiety if mm -hmm. when it's when it starts to get pretty bad yeah so where is that limit when do you know you've hit that line of it's getting pretty bad and i need to do something about it right because i do know <clears throat> again anxiety is such a general universal feeling and we all experience anxiety to a certain degree but there is also a line that does or I guess a severity of anxiety that does require professional help. So how would you advise someone when it's time to start considering professional help? Yeah, so I wanna answer that, but before I answer that, I do wanna say that anxiety is sometimes a good thing, right? If, if we're fearful of walking out in front of a car, that's a good thing. Or if, sometimes there's something called you stress that, that's kind of good stress that helps us to prepare and, and do really well before we're gonna give a presentation or write a paper or go meet somebody some of this anxiety is kind of a good like god-given thing like a, like um like the threat system is there in order for us to fight off you know um uh, like if we're in danger and something's coming against us it's a way mm -hmm. for us to either fight or to run away mm -hmm. so I, I did want to mention that that it's not always bad and some sometimes it can be a warning Mm. it's important to really just get in touch with it and 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 be curious about it but when you would think about whether it's a disorder or not or whether you need some help i would say that you need to look at your level of functioning are you able to function you know in a healthy way like are you sleeping well are you eating um are you able to go and connect with people you know, is it really affecting your life? Are you able to work? You know, Ryan had talked about that it had gone on for a long time and he wasn't able to, to work and, it, and he was going to the hospital, you know, pretty frequently. And, and so I think when your level of functioning is really going down, that's when you, you need to look for help. Mm. Mm -hmm. And at Grace, uh, what kinds of, if, if I'm a member at Grace or if I go to Grace, uh, what kinds of resources or help would you uh, point someone to? Mm -hmm. And if I don't go to Grace, what, where would you, what kinds of resources or help is out there? So we, we take calls from anybody who's in Grace or outside of Grace. We offer interns that are really equipped to be able to help people. And we can make referrals to Safe Harbor and other local professionals, depending upon your insurance. And we can, we also have pastoral counseling and we have some groups, um, Sometimes it's about um, getting connected to other people. Like we just started a group called Emotionally Healthy Woman. We've been offering a, um, an anxiety group for girls, which has been um, very popular. So, we, and whatever's coming our way, we try to see what's going on in the community and try to offer groups that can really care for people. So with COVID, we're really trying to think of ways that we can care for people that are really affected by the strain and the stress and, and the anxiety that comes along with it. Mm -hmm. That's great. Well, thank you so much, Marie, for taking the time to share with us a little bit more about anxiety, but also beyond that, just all the work that you're doing to care for our body in this way through just this very special, unique expertise that you provide and uh, bring to us. So thank you so much. And uh, for those that are watching, if you have any questions, if you feel like you might need help or if you don't know if, if you need help and you need to talk to someone as marie said our grace folks are here for you she's here for you you can just email us uh, or find us online all right thanks guys